Obviously, number one, you want to make sure you come out of this thing healthy. It was our first scrimmage, uh, day seven at camp. And, uh, you know, we're looking for execution. We're looking to cut down on the penalties and mistakes. Um, and we're trying to build up some type of game speed and conditioning. You know, I think uh, today there was give and take on both sides. We had about 74, 75 snaps. And uh, I was pretty impressed for the first day of a uh, scrimmage situation with the refs here, the way our kids responded and the way they played. You know, when you got some t kids that are seniors and fifth year seniors, you don't want to burn them into the ground and they've been through it before for four or five years. So you want to look at where you're at and uh, maybe take them out a period here or there, or let them practice two days on, one day off and, and just trying to keep everybody healthy because, uh, you know, the name of the game at the end, late October, early November, the team with the uh, least amount of injuries and it's playing the best is going to win the NEC. We got some young guys that we're going to have to put in uh, the fire right away and we're hoping that they respond and they can do what's asked of them and if they are in there you're going to have to make sure that you know they know what they're doing um, they're technically sound and they know their their responsibilities and they're going to play hard because they are talented but again as a freshman 18 year old coming into play that's a little tough when you're going up against 21 22 year old seniors that have been around four or five years but uh i'm pretty happy so far with the freshman class and where they're at and uh, like i said if we need to put them into the fire we'll just simplify things and make sure they're in the right spot and they're going uh, 100 miles an hour We'll